Could you please rise for the entrance of the 2016 University of Saskatchewan graduates?
Graduates, please turn and face the platform. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spring Convocation 2016. Would you please join our vocalist, Danielle Sanche, in the singing of O Canada, and then please remain standing for the invocation. Let us pray. God, whose height surpasses our imagination and whose depth reaches far beneath our consciousness, we give you thanks for this day. Today is a monument to wisdom, each course taken, a brick in the infinite tower of learning, carefully coaxed into place by faculty and staff, secured with the curious mortar of students striving to come into their own, seeking to serve the human community by honoring the resources you have bestowed in their hearts, minds, bodies, and souls. We gather today to express our awe at this collective accomplishment, stretching our shoulders backward and turning our eyes upward to envision all that, has, that is yet to be built, even as we marvel at what has been constructed thus far. Move this moment beyond a tiny silo of achievement into an expansive sanctuary of security where spirits are invigorated with courage for the climb of life. May each name etched into this list of graduates from the University of Saskatchewan inspire us all to pursue our potential, to approach the world with wonder, and to delight in the knowledge you have given to us to cherish and share. Amen. Will you please be seated? Once again, graduates and distinguished guests, welcome. I am Elizabeth Williamson, I'm the University Secretary, and I have the honor of introducing to you the members of the platform party that you see before you. So beginning with the front row, on my left and your right, Russell Isinger, Registrar and Director of Student Services. Patty McDougall, Vice Provost Teaching and Learning. Ted Turner, Chancellor Emeritus. Eric Olison, MLA, Saskatoon University. Ernie Barber, Provost and Vice President Academic. President Peter Stoicha. Chancellor Blaine Fable. Rajat Nag, recipient this afternoon of an Honorary Doctor of Laws degree. Madan Gupta, Professor Emeritus, Mechanical Engineering, presenting this afternoon's Honorary Doctor of Laws degree. 
Mary Buer, Dean, College of Agriculture and Bioresources. Don Bergstrom, Dean, College of Engineering. In the second row, four of our university orators, Kathy Coughlin, Andrea Michael, Lee Pennick, Kathleen James Cavan, and our senators, Jim Pulfer, Lori Isinger, and Victoria Neufeld. Asit Sarkar, President, University of Saskatchewan Retirees Association. Trevor Crow, Associate Dean, College of Graduate Studies and Research. Aaron Phoenix, Associate Dean, Academic, College of Engineering. Bob Tyler, Associate Dean Research, College of Agriculture and Bioresources. Fran Wally, Associate Dean Academic, College of Agriculture and Bioresources. Brian Harvey, University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. And behind them, and I would ask them to stand, members of the faculty of the University of Saskatchewan. Would you please join me in expressing to all of these faculty, administration, and members of our governing bodies our thanks for the work they have done by supporting, teaching, and encouraging our graduates. We acknowledge the traditional territory of Treaty 6 and the homeland of the Métis on which we have gathered for this event. We pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. Please stand as you are able for the honour song. Please be seated. So I'm the first one here. <coughs> Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, invited guests, and graduates on behalf of the on behalf of the Senate, I present to you Mr. Rajat Nag. <clears throat> In September 1969, 
just before his 21st birthday, Rajat left India to join as a graduate student in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. And I should say that he was my, one of my first MSc student. <clears throat> so he joined the Department of Mechanical Engineering at this beautiful campus of the University of Saskatchewan. It was quite a bit transition for him from very warm weather to very cold prairies. <laughs> On his arrival, he found, however, that, that the weather in Saskatoon is cold. The hearts of the people in this prairie city of Saskatoon are very, very warm. And that's what he kept me here. So cold weather, but hearts very warm. <clears throat> Rather, education in three disciplines, B.Tech in electrical engineering from the Indian Institute of Science, uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, MSc in mechanical engineering from this university. Then he went to non-engineering program, which is MBA at this university. <clears throat> <clears throat> then he received a, another degree, MSc in economics from the world famous institute, London School of Economics. <clears throat> and all these three different disciplines, engineering, business administration, uh, economics, that's what made him today what he is. The marriage between three different disciplines. Rather than begin his profession, professional career at the Bank of Canada in 1972 in Ottawa, and also held many senior positions in a leading Canadian international consulting firms before joining the Asian Development Bank in 1986. So in 1986, he joined the Asian Development Bank with headquarters in Philippines. Though successfully senior positions in the organization, he was appointed Asian Development Bank's Managing Director General in 2006, a first for the Canadian citizen <clears throat> employed such a high uh, position in an international organization. While with the ADB, he was a leader in defining international development as human development and became a passionate advocate for the elimination of inequalities and promotion of social justice. Upon retirement from ADB in 2013, he was appointed distinguished fellow at the National Council of Applied Economic Research, New Delhi, India, and at the Emerging Markets Forum, Washington, D.C., USA. He served as a visiting professor at the Graduate School of Development, Man Development Management, Asian Institute of Management, Manila, in Philippines, and currently holds his, this, uh, this position at the Emerging Market Institute, Beijing, Normal University in China. He also serves on the board of several organizations, including Action for Austin in Delhi, and devoted to the cause of persons with OSIC spectrum disorder, a partnership for the Transparency Fund and international NCO dedicated to good governance. Over the last four decades and a half, he has published many research papers and technical reports and has obtained a Canadian patent on the detection and diagnosis of incipient failures in rotating machines, such as turbines and power generators. This patent is based upon his MSc work. 
at this university. He sustained dedication to human development in Asia and other developing countries through Asian Development Bank, makes Rajat Nag a worthy recipient of the highest honor that our university, his alma mater, can bestow upon him. Now, before going to my last uh, paragraph, I'd like to make some additions, my personal additions. He was recommended to come here as a MSc student by my one of the very good friend in India. And I'm glad I took his advice and took him. That's the reason he is here. My eldest son, he used to play with Rajat and used to call him a snowman uncle. He was very fond of making snowmen. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Rajat M. Nag and ask that you confer on him the degree of Doctor of Laws, Andrea Kadu. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of the Senate of this university, I admit to you the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, and invest you with all the powers, rights, privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the University Senate and Board, Secretary Williamson, Dean Bergstrom, Dean Burr, Professor Gupta, Professor Sarkar, distinguished guests, parents and families of the graduating class, and most important of all, the graduating class of 2016. Professor Gupta, thank you very much for your very generous introduction. And thank you very much for finally forgiving me for what you considered, I know, betraying the cause of engineering when I moved on to the College of Commerce to do MBA. Thank you very much. <laughs> Most kind of you. <laughs> Chancellor Fable, uh, President Stoichev, I'm most grateful for the honor that you have bestowed on me. Thank you very much. I'm truly touched and humbled. Class of 2016, my warmest congratulations to you. This is your day. So take a bow and a big applause for you all. Teachers and families of the class of 2016, you have all been a source of great strength and support to the graduates. Congratulations to you too. You must be very proud of them, as indeed we all are. Class of 2016, look back at your time spent here and take pride in your achievements. Cherish the friendships that you have built. Give yourselves a generous pat on the back for a job very well done. You have had the unique benefit of a world-class education. You have acquired skills, learned much, and gained some knowledge. Gradually, with time, and experience, you will also gain wisdom. Learn from life, but be patient. Let life be your lifelong teacher. Professor Gupta mentioned about my arrival in Saskatoon. 
And I have to tell you that minus 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, doesn't really matter, <laughs> is something that I only knew in physics. But of course, then I experienced it like you all are, and I've been seared for life. I left some three years later. I carried with me few but invaluable possessions. Wonderful memories of a very nurturing university. Warmth of the hospitality and support I received here. Some knowledge. And now listen to this carefully. A tie from the University of Saskatchewan and a pair of cufflinks, which I'm told are no longer available. So these are now collector items. <laughs> Life has since taken me to many distant places, but I have always felt a deep connection to the university and the province. And I hope that you all will through the years to come yourselves. Never once did I imagine, though, that I'll be here on this podium some 44 years later, particularly wearing the same tie and the same cufflinks. <laughs> Incidentally, Mr. Chancellor, this is also the first ever convocation that I've attended. <laughs> what better occasion than this to be finally a graduate? <laughs> and I'm honored, I'm honored to be part of the class of 2016. As I stand here today, I would like to gratefully acknowledge my teachers and mentors throughout my life, particularly here at the university. They taught me, they guided me, and most generously of all, they gave me their shoulders to stand on and see the distant horizon. To all my teachers and mentors, my deepest respects and thanks. To my extended family, my most sincere gratitude and thanks. Chancellor Fable, President Stoichev, in awarding me this honor, you honor them all. Thank you. And you honor the cause of human development, which I've had the great privilege of working on for the past several decades. Thank you. Allow me then to spend a few minutes on this, because I believe that human development is much more than economic development alone. Human development is about enlarging one's opportunities, an opportunity to live a long and healthy life rather than be dead by the age of five. An opportunity to go to school whether one is a girl or a boy. Opportunity to be free, free from hunger, free to express one's beliefs and views, free from persecution, free from discrimination, be they based on gender, religion, sexual orientation. Opportunity to enjoy access to justice, basic human rights and dignity. Essentially, an opportunity to develop one's capability to the fullest, unconstrained by circumstances of birth and the burdens of prejudice. Class of 2016, you are part of a new world. Over the past 30 years or so, strong economic growth has lifted almost a billion people out of absolute poverty all over the world, particularly led by China and India. Global absolute income poverty has fallen from about 52% in 1981 
to about 10% by 2015. This is extraordinary. The world has achieved in one generation what had previously taken centuries. You are part of a globalized world where people today are generally richer, healthier, live longer, and are better educated globally all over the world than they were a generation ago. This is cause for great celebration. But also consider these. More than 600 people, million people, 600 million people in Asia alone live on less than a dollar a day. About 700 million people globally, that's about 20 times the population of Canada, do not have access to clean water. About one, about two, 2.4 billion people, that's about a third of the world's population, do not have access to improved sanitation. About five million infants die each year and about 160 million children under the age of five are malnourished. What this means is 160 million individuals have already been condemned for life because their physical and intellectual growth has been stunted. Inequality is worsening in most countries and injustices still stalk many all over the world. This, then, is the other face of the world. Not so bright, not so shining, but no less real. Class of 2016, your challenge is how will you help reduce such deprivations? How will you expand the opportunity set for these not so shining faces? You have the knowledge, you have the skills. How will you use them for the greater good? Remember the figures that I have mentioned, but more than that, I implore you to feel the flesh and blood underlying those cold statistics. Empathize. What does the statistic 160 million underweight children under the age of five really mean? Before you can answer, I ask that you make the child come alive. Give her a name. I call mine Asha a Sanskrit word which means hope. It means that little Asha has probably gone to bed hungry for each or most of the 1825 nights that she has lived so far. And there are 160 million Ashas all over the world. Class of 2016, I ask you to reflect on Asha. Think that she was perhaps denied access to opportunities due to circumstances beyond her control. Recognize that she and millions like her suffer from injustices in many forms, widespread malnutrition, lack of affordable health care and education and gender inequalities. Class of 2016, each one of you will have to decide in your personal way what you will do about your Asha. The role of science and technology in human development is fundamental. Improved sanitation systems designed in the mid-19th century led to people 
being less ill and living much longer. Nitrogen fixation and scientific plant breeding led to the Green Revolution in the 1960s. That dramatically increased food output all over the world and saved almost a billion people from starvation. Work at the Canadian Light Source here on campus adds to greater understanding of the fundamental nature of matter and enhances human well-being. As graduates in engineering and agriculture and bioresources, <clears throat> I believe you are uniquely placed to make a difference to ASHA. World-class institutions right here on campus, such as the International Vaccine Center, the Global Institute of Water Security, <clears throat> the Global Institute of Food Security, all provide all provide you unprecedented opportunities to work on the global scene and synergize multiple disciplines for Asha's good. And yet, there will be people who will say, what difference can you make? What difference can one individual make? My simple message to you, ignore them. They have not seen the gleam in the eyes of the child who walks into school for the first time ever in her life. They have not seen, they have not felt the sheer relief of the young girl who does not have to walk for hours to fetch a pail of water. So go ahead, make a difference. Make a difference to Asha. Believe in the power of one. Class of 2016, I beg you to draw on your inner self. Apply what you have learned. Expand your skill set. Draw on other disciplines of knowledge and seek the wisdom of many others to find solutions for Asha's woes. Asha needs your help. Indeed, we owe it to her. Much has been given to us. Much is expected of us. Class of 2016, I wish you all the very best. Warmest congratulations. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My role here is, first of all, to thank our distinguished honorary degree recipient for that wonderful speech. It was uh, moving and timely and a good thing to hear. And also to set a context for the significance of all of the graduates from these two wonderful colleges who will be crossing the stage in a few minutes. Eminent Chancellor, graduates and families, honored guests, I thank the many people who are here today to be part of this moment in the University of Saskatchewan's history. In particular, I want to acknowledge the drummers. I love hearing that honor song at the beginning of every convocation ceremony. I want to also in particular acknowledge the many faculty on the stage who are the heartbeat of this university. Thank you for being here today. Our honorary degree recipient, Mr. Neg, Chancellor Emeritus Turner, MLA Alawson, it's wonderful that all of you are here and it demonstrates the significant place that the University of Saskatchewan holds in the hearts and the souls of the people of this province, this city and Canada and beyond. We're here to celebrate a milestone in the lives of the graduates who will soon walk across this stage. We're proud of them. You should be proud of what you've done. 
Life is richer when we collectively acknowledge success and hard work and rites of passage such as this one today. We're also here because this university has brought us together. A university is a wonderful thing. It's a great experiment in the ongoing conversation we call democracy. And when I read the news each day, and when I see how fast the world is changing, I am convinced that universities are needed now more than ever before, and that the University of Saskatchewan is needed now more than it ever has been. That what the people crossing this stage today, strengthened by what they've learned here, go on to do in their lives, will matter immensely to our collective futures. You're getting your degrees today. You succeeded in that. Take the time to enjoy it, revel in it, boast about it, feel a little smug about it. But once those five minutes are up, <laughs> take a lot more time to thank your parents, your grandparents, friends, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, communities, elementary school teachers, high school teachers, the professors you appreciated or the classmates who helped you out because you don't achieve something this big without a lot of help along the way. I wish Lauren Calvert were here, but I heard him speaking last year at a Saskatchewan Order of Merit ceremony, and he said, when you see a turtle, when you see a turtle on a fence post, and by the way, I've looked ever since for one and I haven't seen one. <laughs> when you see a turtle on a fence post, you know it did not get there itself. Lots of graduands are sitting in seats like you are across this country in auditoriums like this one right now getting university degrees, but let me say a few things on the threshold of the university celebrating its 110th anniversary next year about a U of S degree. This is the home of the Cobalt 60 radiation therapy technology that revolutionized cancer treatment 65 years ago and saved the lives of millions of cancer patients around the world. Right here, there's an auto body shop right around the corner from here that built the casing, and University of Saskatchewan medical researchers built the concept. Some of the country's most formative political leaders got their degrees here. Prime Minister John Diefenbaker, Governor General Ray Natitian, Premiers Devine, Romano, Calvert, and Wall. There were people here who went on to receive Nobel Prizes, chemistry grad student Henry Tobe, physics professor Gerhard Hertzberg, writers such as Sharon Butella, who wrote Perfection of the Morning, and Guy Vanderhaeg, who won three Governor General's Awards for fiction, actors like Kim Coates from Sons of Anarchy, business leaders such as Brett Wilson and Murray Edwards, Aboriginal leaders like our Chancellor Blaine Favell, former chief of the FSIN, and Lester LaFond, a formidable influence on the development of the Aboriginal business community in this province. Influential people in our justice system, such as Medicare author and Supreme Court Justice Emmett Hall and Federal Chief Negotiator Tom Malloy, former Chancellor of this university as well. Athletes and coaches such as Diane jones Konahowski, Mike Babcock, Willie Desjardins and Dave King. At last week's YWCA Women of Distinction Awards banquet, 33 of the 55 nominees were from this university. We are seen as a research leader in the country with Canada's only synchrotron, where we figured out how to produce medical isotopes using high energy x-rays from a particle accelerator rather than with a nuclear reactor. There is a huge national and international demand for these isotopes due in part to the closure of the reactor in Chalk River. We've got one of the world's most advanced vaccine research facilities at Vito Intervac and a cyclotron that will shortly be providing medical isotopes to Royal University Hospital, a fitting homage to that Cobalt 60 work done here over half a century ago. Our Global Institute for Food Security will help to feed a hungry world. Our Global Institute for Water Security will understand floods and droughts for us. Our humanities and fine arts will explore human expression and keep us interpreting. All these things matter all these things make the world a better place. A little bit specifically about the two colleges whose graduates are here today. U of S crop research has been the main driver behind Saskatchewan's billion dollar pulse crop industry. In this, the international year of pulses, you may be aware 
that pulse production barely registered on the crop production graph in 1970, barely registered on it. And in 2016, it's over 20% of the agricultural landscape, thanks in large part to U of S research in the, in the College of Agriculture and Bioresources. Saskatchewan now leads the world in exporting peas, lentils, and chickpeas, staple foods in fast-growing countries such as India, China, Bangladesh, and in Northern Africa. And back in 1970, before the Crop Development Center was established, the majority of Saskatchewan's productive land was under summer fallow, generating no income at all for producers. But since then, crop diversification from U of S developed varieties, as well as the development of seeding equipment and technologies for precise seed and fertilizer placement have significantly reduced Saskatchewan acreage under summer fallow increasing seeded acreage by 40%. The results are threefold, more land being used to produce food, higher returns for farmers, and more crop choices for producers than ever before. The return on investment is somewhere in the area of $50 billion over those four decades. The College of Engineering's history and impact are formidable as well. C.J. McKenzie was its first dean in 1921 and later served on the Massey Commission, became president of the National Research Council, the first president of Atomic Energy Canada, and the first president of the Atomic Energy Control Board, and is recognized nationally and internationally as a pioneer in the development of engineering education. An example of that you'll see today is when the first graduates from engineering's new mining and mineral processing options cross this stage a fitting recognition of Saskatchewan Mining Week. With 17 colleges and graduate schools, we have more disciplines represented than any Canadian university of our size. This to me is a crucial feature of who we are because although we do not know what the solutions are to the major challenges facing us today, we do know this, that they're not gonna be solved by a single discipline or by a single person but by many people, by many disciplines working together. We're poised to help do that with faculty who are at the cutting edge of research, scholarly, and artistic work. For these reasons and more, and I wanted to set this context for all of the graduates who crossed the stage today, we are one of the top 15 research-intensive medical doctoral universities in the country. On his trip out here to begin his work as our first president in 1908, Walter Murray wrote in a letter that we are building for centuries, and that's what we will continue to do to be a leader in developing local solutions to global problems. I don't say this to boast entirely, but to drive home that the degree you've worked hard to receive today has tremendous value. Many employers tell me that when they see an application from a U of X grad, it gets noticed because the quality of the university is so high and because of its graduates' work ethic that's part of our prairie roots. And also because you haven't just learned a particular area of study, you've learned how to be adaptive in your thinking, to be resilient, to be able someday to solve problems we can't even foresee today. You've learned about excellence, and excellence is a transferable skill. And like anything that has tremendous value, it carries with it a great responsibility. In the end, most people in the world can only dream of getting to where you are, educated, well-read, supported, self-reliant, networked, plugged in. This is not to say there aren't huge challenges ahead, but you've worked hard and others have helped you to get to a point where you can now do what? A few thoughts on that. You didn't get here by following what everybody else did, agreeing with everything they said, doing everything they asked, and taking the road of least resistance. You weren't here doing all this just to absorb received wisdom. You've done all this work to find your own voice, not to mimic someone else's. Trust yourself now to sing with it. Also, you got here by taking risks, by failing at some things, maybe many things. Even going to university at all was a risk. You didn't do all this work so that you'll live a failure-free life. You've done all this work so that your future failures will be for more important causes and so that your successes will have more important impacts. 
And finally, you came here with at least some slight thought in the back of your mind that a university degree will lead to a great job and a lot of money. It's true the chances are a lot higher that you will have those things with a degree than without one. But I've always liked this sentence from Chris Hedge's book, The Empire of Illusion. In the end, the measure of a civilization is its compassion, not its ability to consume. And the compassion is not just for others, it's also for yourself. Help out those with less than you've now got and take it easy on yourself while you're at it. The two go hand in hand, it turns out. And if you do get a great job and make lots of money, show even more compassion and make even more of a difference. So in the end, what's all this that you're achieving today about? Only you can answer that for yourself. But part of it is about being able to contribute to your community, this province, this country, in many cases, your own country. They all need people with degrees in agriculture and bioresources and in engineering to help build a more sustainable world, a more equitable world, a world with the courage to embrace diversity, not build a wall against it, a country that responds to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. Because as Justice Murray Sinclair, now Senator, stated at the U of S last fall, education is the key to reconciliation. And I'm very proud that the U of S is graduating more Aboriginal students this year than it has ever graduated in its history. Think of all of those who can't even imagine having the education you've got. What would they do if they had it? What will you do now that you've got it? How can you give back to everyone who's helped you to get it? For me, it's always been a passion for the idea of a university, a radical experiment in human culture, a place where we learn to be humble servants of a democratic society and respectful critics of it. For the John Diefenbakers, Roy Romanos, Gerhard Hertzbergs, Blaine Favels, Hilda Neatbys, Emmett Halls, Rajat Nags, it was about something else. None of them, while at university, knew exactly where they were headed. You can't know that because the world changes too fast. But they knew to listen for some passion to follow and that became an endless journey. For you, it will be something else. It doesn't matter exactly what it is, just that you're passionate about it and that you use it for good. That is a long way of saying congratulations to our graduates today and to all of those who helped them. And to the families and friends here today, you can be proud that your sons or daughters or friends will not only succeed in their careers, but will contribute to Canada and the world. Congratulations, everyone. Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the University Senate and Board, I present to you the petition of the Council of this University that the candidates to be named, having fulfilled all the requirements of the bylaws, may, with your permission, be admitted to the degrees and certificates to which they are entitled. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of the Council of this University, I consent to admit you to the degrees and certificates to which you are entitled and vest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. Would the graduates in the front row please rise and come to the platform? Graduates, as you make your way forward, I'll just let you know how the conferring of degrees will unfold. As you enter the stage, please stop and face the audience as the hood will be put over your shoulders. Once you've been hooded, proceed to the first podium where the orator will present each of you by name. Once your name has been announced, proceed to shake the chancellor's hand and the chancellor then tells you that you have been admitted to the convocation of the University of Saskatchewan. You will then continue across the platform to be greeted by the president and your dean or associate dean of the college and to receive your parchment from them. As you go down the steps, you will be welcomed as new members of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association by a representative of the association.
Eminent Chancellor. On behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the Certificate in Indigenous Peoples Resource Management. I present to you Arnold Francis Baptiste. Over to the Chancellor. Lance Cloud. <laughs> Sherry Ann Lewis. <laughs> Danielle Marie Poitras. Debbie Ann Thomas. <clears throat> William Leo Morris. Victor Kyle Rumbold. Chloe Ann Wells. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the diploma in agribusiness. I present to you Mark Williams Carstens. <clears throat> Cassidy Jacqueline Kerr. Amber Lee Amy Landles. <clears throat> Stuart Eric Hugh Mufford. <clears throat> Colton Stalwick. Renee Nicole Wilkins. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the diploma in agronomy I present to you. John Gordon Larry. Dakota Sierra McLean. Carson Shemansky. Trista Ann Warkin. Danette Rosalie Dawn Wilford. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Animal Bioscience. I present to you Sarah Nicole Barnsley with great distinction. Nicole Marie Crossman, with great distinction. Aaron Lynn Davis. Kelsey Evelyn Hamilton. <clears throat> Who 
Whitney Nicole Harder. Lacey Cheyenne Yerke, with distinction. <laughs> Alicia Brianne Kilgore. <laughs> Jasmine Sarah Manning. Meying Ying with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine Dawn Tenkink with great distinction. <laughs> Shelby Rose Thim. Amy Lee Sylvia Visco, with distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness. I present to you. Levi William Stanley Adams, with distinction. <laughs> Jeremy Reed Andrew. <laughs> Courtney Nicole Bentz. Michael Terence Berezny. <laughs> Tyler Ann Sadie Boxel. Aaron Leanne Bristow with distinction. Ainsley Michelle Campbell. Play Justin Casavant. Bowen Chen. Braden Michael Connor. Jared Allen Haight. Blair Henry Hover with distinction. Shayla Catherine Hertz, with distinction. Sean Lewis Ingram, with great distinction. Taylor Ray Iwasiak. Carson Taylor James. <laughs> Jia Jin. <laughs> T 
Ty Anthony Edward Kerrig. Kylie Rubina Kletberg. <laughs> Bailey D. Cole. <laughs> Kirsten Lynn Libke. J.C. May Lovren. Luke Shane Marshall. Graham Daniel Montreal. Evan David Peterson. Logan Joseph James Peasy with great distinction. Stephen Wilmer Ringdell. Byron Sorensen with great distinction. <clears throat> Jordan Kelly Stevens. <clears throat> Travis William Sunderland. Kenton Merle Elliott. <clears throat> Shannon Patricia Walker with great distinction. <clears throat> Dustin Russell Willosh. Alicia Michelle Zwarich. <clears throat> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Renewable Resource Management. I present to you Vincente Antonio Dazen. Shauna Nadine Juravinsky. Torbjorn Loken with great distinction. Bryce Sean McCall. Braden James Meyer with distinction. Cassidy Marie Obrowski with distinction. Lauren Dion Reynolds with distinction. Landon Lee Seeley with great distinction. (laughs) 
Lucas Alexander Raphael Smith with great distinction. Jia Jun Wang with distinction. Scott William Grant Wood with distinction. Jian Hao Chen. Minin Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. I present to you Chelsea Brooke Berenicki. Jennifer Nicole Barrett. <laughs> Nikki Marie Beingessner. <laughs> Anastasia Katrina Benyuk. Adam Joseph Bernick, with distinction. <laughs> Megan Ann Bergsbainson. <laughs> Danielle Aylin Black. Lane Ernest Blank. <laughs> Kyle Thomas Bone. <laughs> Everett Boots with great distinction. Allison Jane Carr. <laughs> Haley Annalise Caswell. <laughs> Eric Kenneth Cherubin. Corametha Chiarda. Amy Jane Commission. Niall Grant Cubbin. Justin George Deering. Benjamin Charles Dietrich, with great distinction. Mitchell Drayton, with distinction. Keisha Dawn Duchick. Gabrielle Bryn Edwards, with great distinction. Amanda Dawn Ahalt.
April Renee Fisher. Timothy Alexander Fiss. Ella Patricia Fomis, with great distinction. Jenna Ray Rose Fusick. Yong Gao. Kaleen Anne Marie Haluk. Shin Hao, with distinction. Crystal Ann Harper, with distinction. <laughs> Kayla Lynn Hawkins. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Christine Hodgson. Kathleen Elisa Holweger. <laughs> Kennedy Lee Keith. <laughs> Caitlin Dale Joanna Kettenbaugh. Jennifer Lynn Clausen. <laughs> Caitlin Donnell Klutz, with distinction. <laughs> Braden Paul August Naxted. Art Kohler. <clears throat> Delaney Isabel Konichny. <clears throat> Haley Marie Kumich. Shauna Amy LaJoy, with distinction. <laughs> Shelby Lynn LaRose. <laughs> Lauren Denise Larson, with distinction. Tyler Nelson Leffley. <clears throat> Colin Gerard Latane, with distinction. <clears throat> Angel Liu, with great distinction. Jian Yi Lim, with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Mildred Luzny. <laughs> Chantel Janine May, with great distinction. Megan Grace McLeod, with distinction. <laughs> M 
Maury Quinn Micklich. Jenna Ray Miller. Michael John Miller, with distinction. Joshua Lee Motes, with great distinction. Kimberly Jean Morton. Delaney Murphy, with distinction. Chase Austin Nelson, with distinction. Shelby Brock Ohitwa. Brianna Ray Ostafi. Carter Carey Pru, with distinction. Madeline Solange Pirio. Rachel Faith Redlick. Chelsea Brianne Richter. <laughs> Hannah Kristen Roof, with distinction. Seung Boom Ryu. Kelsey Nicole Schultz. Matthew Michael Scott. Shuyu Shang. Andrea Lynn Smith, with great distinction. Nonlapan Somrang. Yifan Song, with distinction. <laughs> Courtney Antoinette Stalwick. <laughs> Caitlin Ray Stair, with great distinction. <laughs> Taylor Stenerson. Sarah E. Story. <laughs> Haley Morgan Stratichuk, with distinction. <laughs> Kelly Svoboda. Dana Lynn Tachuk, with great distinction. Christina Maria Tollett, with distinction. Bradley Stephen Tomteen.
Courtney Gail Trudeau with great distinction. Rebecca Jean Turner with distinction. Reed Anthony Urbanowski. Jessica Kathleen Van Buskirk. Nicole Carly Vanderleest. Blake Randall Voth with distinction. Chen Xuan Wang with great distinction. Xin Yi Wei. Tenille Amelia Welter. Jensen Taylor Wendell with distinction. <laughs> Olivia Molly Whitmore. <clears throat> Megan Dawn Willerton. Sarah Julia Whist, with great distinction. Andrew Larry Wolf, with distinction. Jaden Ian Wood Sparrow, with distinction. Maureen Margaret Whitewich, with distinction. Amanda Dawn Wookner, with distinction. Ron Rong Xiang, with great distinction. Miao Yu. <laughs> Brianna Marie Sorb with great distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor. On behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Agriculture and Bioresources and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Master of Agriculture. I present to you Reed Arley McGrath. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor. On behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Agriculture and Bioresources and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Master of Science. I present to you Alexis Marie Adams. <laughs> Anisha Biswari. Xiaoming Wang. Warabile Kosisijo. Is 
Son Wah Kim. <laughs> Angie Che Yan Lam. Jun Liu. Juan Manuel Lobo Ecaveri. Manglai. <laughs> Graham Scott Mansfield. <laughs> Jana Ray Motes. <laughs> Trent. Patrick Pernitsky. Marianne Catherine Posberg. Megan Elizabeth Marie Rosso. Mark James Patrick Sigwin. <laughs> Catherine Alexandra Stanley. <laughs> Tina Thomas. Blake Nathan Wyseth <clears throat> Hyruni Wijesena Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of the College of Engineering, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Engineering. I present to you Farid Ajina with distinction. Sarah Michelle Antea with distinction. Nicholas Mackenzie Bashutsky, with distinction. Jordan Schuyler Bonakowski, with distinction. Wei Keao, with distinction. Trent Regan Thomas Cessna. Lei Chen. Allison Faye Danderfer. Thanish Dar, with great distinction. Ronald Kenneth Davy with distinction. Christopher Matthew Joshua Donye. Ryan Edward Epp with great distinction.
Nicholas Paul Ivers Franks. Tyler Stephen Larson Jelinas. Kayla Dawn Gertsen, with great distinction. Abdullah Nabil Abdullah Hagar, with great distinction. Chao Han. Glendon William Haas, with great distinction. Spencer Grant Hertz. Drew Benjamin Heska. Raylin Dawn Jackson. Callie Dawn Kennedy, with distinction. Caitlin Amber Kirby, with great distinction. Mackenzie Michael Coons, with distinction. Scott Mario Lamacchia, with distinction. Andrew James Lamborn, with great distinction. Emily Kate Leong. Tong Peter Liu. Benjamin Robert Lockhart. Alexander Joseph Miquette, with great distinction. Christopher Eric Brown Mock. Connor William Murray. Izuama Olive Wabuko, with distinction. Logan Christopher Lee Ohitwa. Landon Lawrence Olson. Luke Braden Patola, with distinction. Kyle J. Perron. Evan Robert Clark Potts. Brandon Kwan, with distinction. Kwaja Habibur Rahman, with distinction. Kaylee Nicole Rindle, with distinction.
Troy Quentin Shapley with distinction. Lorraine Rose Shivak with great distinction. Kevin Allen Sibley with great distinction. Jyoti Singh. Adam Roy Sittler. Evan Sloan. Jason St. Germain. Jijang Sui. Kai Tang with great distinction. Rachel Michelle Toy. Jordan Anthony Walliser. Sean Joshua Vyman. Mackenzie John Wheeler. Amanda Louise Winnie. Jing Zhou. Civil Engineering. Veronica Imad Abusada with distinction. Mavis Amefa Akos Adzanu. Jordan Nicholas Antunes. Amir Azani. Graham Auckland. Brandon Eric Bedford. Kathleen Burkell, with distinction. Brian Wayne Carlson. Alyssa Marie Kruer. Nevin Rain Cross. Janine Marie Danderfer. Kristen Alice Gray with distinction. Brandon Kent Gress. Brianna Headley.
Taylor David Barry Helm. Travis James Inglis, with great distinction. Lindsay Fraser Jackson, with distinction. Alesha Ann Johnson. Ryan Dennis Keene, with distinction. Matthew Ronald Koraluk. <clears throat> Mohammed Awad Krishan. <laughs> Nathan Krieger. Susanna Lasik. <laughs> Sainan Lee. <laughs> Chao Yi <Yee> Liu. Nan Jiang Lu. <laughs> Lee Cameron Lucan. <laughs> Alexander Roy Lyon, with distinction. Sheldon Douglas McIntyre, with distinction. Connor Francis McCuit, with distinction. Janae Rennell Nixon, with distinction. Camille Janusz Rogowski with distinction. Kara Ann Rutley. Andrew John Henry Sanders. Clinton Shaw. <laughs> Matthew John Sleva, with great distinction. <laughs> Laura Jane Stasiak, with distinction. Luke Thomas Isaac Warkentine, with distinction. Matthew jo Jordan Wentz. Will Anthony Williams. Felicia Vanessa Wright with great distinction. <laughs> Huiling Yang, with distinction. <laughs> Junhao Jing. <laughs> Ella
Everett Allen Zorb. <laughs> Computer Engineering. Kyle Lewis Alexander Bonilla, with distinction. Jonathan Chernyshenko. Jory Anthony Cooper, with distinction. Justin Adam Fraser. Craig Ryan Irvine, with great distinction. <laughs> Keenan Bradley Johnstone. <laughs> Jacob Christopher Menon. <laughs> Keith Daniel Petro. Kyle Matthew Sheesby. <laughs> Yumeng Wang, with distinction. <laughs> Pierce Thomas Future, with distinction. Electrical Engineering, Lee Turner Gantafor. Shah Han. Dylan Cody Hollowatch. Sean William Jamison. <laughs> Dai Lei. <laughs> Ravinder Singh Panu. Lance Millard Pitka, with great distinction. Thomas Trong, with great distinction. Dallas Mackenzie Wild. Sean Michael Wilson, with great distinction. <laughs> Luo Hong Yang. <laughs> Engineering Physics, Daniel Stephen Latros. Ethan Edward Runge, with great distinction. <laughs> Taryn William Warnock, with great distinction. <laughs> Environmental Engineering. Stacy Jenna Andel. Shelby Joanne Benson. <laughs> Haley Louise Cunningham. <laughs> Haley 
Brook Storm Eisbister. Kelsey Brianne Lindeness. Christina Marie Lipinski. Austin Ray Lothian. Bryce Adam Marcotte, with great distinction. Eliza Helena Meldrum. Gregory James Morrison, with distinction. Omar Whale Nawara, with great distinction. Aaron Randall Hans Sawatsky, with distinction. Regan Emily Shimnoski, with great distinction. Paige Louisa Chouette. Jordan Roy Elwin Staff. Lindsay Jordan Stobbs. Timothy Martin Vogel. In Geological Engineering, Kyle David Anderson. Ryan Dean Klatt. Chi Poo. Colleen Janice Small, with distinction. Cecily Ann Smith. Scott Brian Trihuba. Ramey Arthur Valois. In Mechanical Engineering, Bedru Abdu Samed Mohammed. Hadi Abed. Tushar Agarwal. Skylar Allardyce. <laughs> Stefan Georgiev Belev. With great with great distinction. Devon Robertson Brown. James Michael Bulmer. <laughs> David Abram Craig Penner, with great distinction.
Tanner Diobald. George Murray Dodds, with great distinction. Kevin Richard Erker. Matthew Davis James Funk, with distinction. Timothy James Gadzella. Braden Jason Greenwald. Philip D. Hamill, with distinction. Alex James Hansen, with distinction. Ethan Cameron Hansen. Brett Michael Hawkins, with distinction. Thomas Matthew David Hilderman. Blake Hopkins. Jordan Allen Jurisity with great distinction. Dana Mackenzie Carey. Michael Earl Kovalevich. Braden Robert Lang. Lee David Latimer, with distinction. Taylor Leck, with distinction. Gao Ximing Liu, with distinction. Basil Kurian Marcos. Julia Marie Milne. Matthew Pazlowski. Luke Nathan Patterson. <laughs> Timothy David Quinney. <laughs> Sean Michael Trent. Hayden Carl Reitenbach, with great distinction. Justin Zito. Daniel Tang. Fuad George Tanus. (laughs) 
Dustin Damien Turjan with great distinction. Matthew David Zare. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you this scholar from the College of Engineering and ask that you will confer on him the postgraduate diploma. I present to you Imtiaz Ahmed. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Engineering and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Master of Engineering. I present to you Oluwashei Adedeji Adenian. <clears throat> Emeka Stanley Ike. Omolara Omowumi Ulubaju. <clears throat> Fungri Jong. <clears throat> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Engineering and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Master of Science. I present to you Feng Dai. Yeah. <laughs> Zhue Han. <laughs> Divya. Jaya Prakash. Amber Marie Peterson. Azam Sadegi. Hao Zhang. It is my privilege to present our PhD graduates. The custom at the University of Saskatchewan is for our PhD graduates, once they have been admitted to their degree, to be met by their supervisor and escorted to join the platform party in a sub symbolic welcome to the community of scholars. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars, and I ask that you will confer on them the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I present to you Katema Daba Abdil. <clears throat> Zahre Izadifar. Thomas Norman King. <laughs> Scott Wei Lee. <laughs> Jun Liu. Santos Pudel. <laughs> Ho 
Ratana Parianoch. Sorry, that should be Kornsuli Ratana Parianuch. Le Ren. Mohammed Torshizi. Yu Zhao. Please join me in congratulating all of these graduates on their certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Eminent Chancellor, in the name of the faculties, I ask you to grant the degrees and certificates in absentia to those students who have met the requirements to graduate but were not able to be present today. At the request of the faculties, I authorize these degrees and certificates be granted. Thank you. Good afternoon. As Dean of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, it is my really great pleasure to announce three special awards to graduates from the College of Agriculture and Bioresources. The first prize is for the Prairie Horticultural Certificate, the Distinguished Graduate Award, which is given to Brenda Joy Appleton, who unfortunately could not be with us here today. Brenda is from Grand Coulee, Saskatchewan, and began her studies in the Prairie Horticulture Certificate Program in September of 2011. Her interest in plants began when the family yard was being landscaped and plants needed to be selected. This newfound interest of hers has led her to a passion for succulents and cacti. Her area, special area of study was greenhouse crop production, and she graduated not only with an amazing average, but outstanding horticultural skills. Please join me in congratulating Brenda Joy Appleton. Our next award is the 2016 Saskatchewan Institute of Agrologists Gold Medal Prize for the most outstanding graduate from the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture degree program. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Logan Pizzi. Logan. This gold medal prize began in 1959 when the Saskatchewan Institute of Agrologists committed to recognizing outstanding performance by a Bachelor of Science in Ag student and to promote and sustain the profession of agrology. Um, as I said, Logan is this year's outstanding graduate. He was born and raised in Manitoba at his family's fourth generation farm near Binscarth, which I happen to know is near Fox Warren, right? Major metropolis. Anyhow, um, he chose to attend the University of Saskatchewan because we are so close to the family farm and also because he knew that here in the heart of the prairies, the University of Saskatchewan provides programs that not only address today's in industries um, facing agriculture in Western Canada, but also help us address global food security. He enjoys farming alongside of his family members and has always been around for harvest each year. He's going to return to the U of S this fall to undertake a Master's of Agriculture in Ag Economics. Once completed that, he plans to return full-time to family farm operation, where he can use his learning not only to continue farming with his family, but also to take an active role as a voice for farmers in the future and to help form agriculture and transportation policies uh, in the future. Congratulations to Logan Pizzi, the award winner of the College uh, Saskatchewan Institute for Agrologists Gold Medal Prize. Logan. Our 
Our final award recipient is the Fulton Family and Saskatchewan Institute of Agrologists Prize for the Outstanding Graduate in the Diploma Program at the College of Ag and Bio. This year's award winner is Stuart Mufford. Stuart. This prize has an interesting history. It was first set up as the Fred Fulton Prize in Farm Enterprise Planning and was established by a former professor, Fred Fulton, who taught in the college until 1993. He created a prize to honor diploma graduates and in particular those that consistently met the objectives of the farm management course and presented the material in a superior manner throughout their entire performance. In 2006, the Saskatchewan Institute of Agrologists, wanting to recognize excellence in the diploma program, but not wanting to interfere with the very well-recognized Fulton Family Prize, undertook the true agricultural fashion and partnered, and so we have this joint award. Stewart was born in Langley, British Columbia, and grew up on a dairy farm near Hague, Saskatchewan. Stewart had originally planned to be a teacher and completed his Bachelor of Education here at the U of S, then recognized that his heart was truly in agriculture. He returned to the U of S to attend the College of Ag Bio and has now completed his diploma in agronomy as part of his next steps in life, but he's not done yet. He enjoys traveling and sports, driving boats, and working hard. And through all of those things, he has decided to attend next year the Miller College of the Bible near Swift Current, and in the future hopes to employ all of his educational experiences together to work in camp ministry or agricultural missions. Congratulations to Stuart, this year's winner of the Fulton Family and Saskatchewan Institute of Agrologists Gold Medal. As Associate Dean Academic in the College of Engineering, it is a distinct honor to presenting the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Saskatchewan Gold Medal. This medal is awarded to the most distinguished graduate from the College of Engineering, and this year I'm pleased to announce that the gold medal will be uh, given to Mr. Graham Kerr, who unfortunately cannot be here today. Graham originates from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, where a variety of hobbies sparked his interest in mechanical engineering. Growing up, he spent countless hours building mechanical devices out of Lego, including cars, robots, and various iterations of mechanical clocks. These experiences with Lego convinced Graham to pursue an engineering degree at a young age. After obtaining a driver's license, Graham has held a fascination with motorcycles, which he enjoys fixing almost as much as he enjoys riding. He has since traveled throughout no the northeastern United States on a motorcycle. Graham also enjoys playing guitar, mountain biking, and woodworking. During his stay at the University of Saskatchewan, Graham worked for over two years as a biomedical imaging and therapy technical assistant at the Canadian Light Source. The job involved designing computer modeling and building robotic equipment to facilitate X-ray imaging experiments, which developed his interest in the area of high-precision robots. And some of Graham's proudest achievements include successful designs for the Canadian Light Source. Graham is currently moving to Vancouver to pursue work in the robotics industry, and eventually he plans to pursue a master's degree in the field of mechanical engineering. Graham considers his education to have great personal value in addition to professional value, and he intends to use his education not only to build a career, but also further his hobbies. So please join me in congratulating Graham for this remarkable achievement. Eminent Chancellor, President Stoichev, family and friends of the graduates, oh, sorry, distinguished platform guests and participants, and most importantly of all, graduates. Allow me a couple of remarks before I read my script here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Nag, not only for receiving the degree and the uh, fantastic work that he's done, 
but also for his remarks. Having spent a number of years myself in international development, uh, that message really, really came home. If we give people freedom and a full belly, that'll do more for world peace than all the armies put together. Let me also give you another little twist on, on some of the statistical information he gave you. There are more people negatively impacted in this world from hunger and malnutrition from the ravages of HIV AIDS and malaria combined. You know, however, where all the, uh, the focus of attention is. Uh, I guess we in the food and agriculture industry need to do something about that. I always uh, enjoy this particular section of convocation, partly because I'm an agricultural graduate and also because my son is a graduate in engineering. You can imagine the trepidation which he came to my, with which he came to my office to get a ride home from campus. <laughs> in addition to being a past president of the Alumni Association, I'm also a past president of the Saskatchewan Agricultural Graduates Association, the most lively college ag uh, graduate association in the university. And I just wanted to emphasize a message you probably got earlier today, and that is you get a free year of membership. Uh, we're not as rich as the University Alumni Association, so we have to pay our way. But you do get a free year's membership. I would urge you uh, uh, to take advantage of that. And to those family of the graduates uh, from the College of Agriculture today, uh, I might suggest that if you're still looking for a graduation president, present, rather, uh, a life membership doesn't cost very much. It's the best bargain in town. Now, to get to my scripted remarks. My name is Brian Harvey, and I'm a proud U of S alumnus, earning my first two degrees from this institution. BSA in 1960 and then MSC in 1961. As a past president of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate you, the class of 2016, and to welcome each of you as our association's newest members. The spring convocation of 2016 marks an important time in the Alumni Association history. We're celebrating our 100-year anniversary, and we've officially surpassed 150,000 graduates from this institution. Although it might feel like you're receiving your hard-earned degree or certificate marking the end of your time as a U of S community, however, it is really a new beginning. When you walk across the stage today, know that it is not the end of your relationship with us. You are students on campus only for a relatively short time, but you are an alumnus for the rest of your life. Today is all about you and the work you've done to get this far. I encourage you to bask in your accomplishments, knowing that your hard work, long hours, cups of coffee, all have paid off. Take a, mo a moment to soak it all in and celebrate this moment. As you walk across the stage and officially become members of our association, know that you're in good company. You follow in the accomplished footsteps of U of S alumni, like those mentioned by the president. You stole my thunder on those, so I won't repeat them. But let's go more specifically to uh, the fields that we're celebrating today. In agriculture, Lawrence Kirk, the first president of the Alumni Association, who was also became a dean of agriculture, and became chief of the plant industry branch of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Crop breeders like Keith Downey, father of canola, Harvey Voldang, who transformed Ontario agriculture and beyond uh, with his work on soybeans, adapting them to the harsher climate of Canada and also uh, doing a fantastic job of introducing NATO-type soybeans to Canada. Bill Legg, uh, if you're a beer drinker, uh, you, he, along with myself, will have provided the varieties that you, uh, uh, your beer has been made of. So, enjoy. <laughs> Chancellor Emeritus Ted Turner, 
former head of the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool, Curtis Posniak and Pierre Huckle, part of the international team to map the wheat genome. Just so that I don't leave engineering out of this, Don Bateman, who invented the ground proximity warning system and other aviation safety features that are now standard in commercial aircraft. I don't need to tell you how important those are in terms of saving human lives. Brett Wilson, well-known entrepreneur and philanthropist. Susan Curry, CEO of the Center for Affordable Water and Sanitation Technology, helping improve access to safe drinking water and sanitation, particularly in developing countries. Tom Anselmi, former Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment President and C COO. Jack Poole, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the 2010 Vancouver Winter, Winter Olympics. Now, I've done a little thinking about, now, where in the engineering curriculum do, uh, what courses uh, suit you for these uh, leadership in sports? They're, the only thing I could think of are these are the people that uh, spent a lot of time uh, on campus in various sports activities and took six or seven years to finish their degrees. <laughs> of course, I could go on naming our alumni who are leaders in business, public policy, public service, health, crop and animal science, the arts, sports and athletics, virtually every field and profession that there is out there. But I won't do that, of course. You will not only follow in the footsteps of these distinguished men and women, but you will create your own significant uh, contributions. Remember the faces and names of those around you today, because yours are the names that we'll be reading out in future ceremonies of this kind. You're all experiencing change at an unprecedented and ever accelerating rate technologically, sociologically, and economically. You will take on challenges in today's world that don't even exist yet. We can't even imagine what they might be. However, your knowledge, your experience, and your relationships will help you along your way and assist you to help build vibrant lives and, in turn, vibrant communities. It's my hope for you that you find satisfaction in whatever path you choose and that you will never lose the thirst for knowledge you acquired here. Always be curious, always be searching, and always strive to know more. Because of your time at the U of S, you will have all the skills, knowledge, and abilities to think critically, solve problems, create solutions, and be leaders. From this day on, all that you accomplish in life will be as a member of the U of S alumni. There is a network out there, however, uh, so don't hesitate to call on this fabulous network to assist you as you make your way through life. Please stay in touch with us as you go on to do these great things. You're an inspiration to each other and forever a member of the U.S. family. Congratulations to each of you, uh, one, every one of our graduates, and welcome to the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. Hi, good afternoon. I'm uh, Blaine Fable, and I'm the Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan. And it's been my great honor to preside over uh, this afternoon's convocation, which is now slowly winding up, and with a few short uh, announcements I want to make. I'd like to uh, have you uh, uh, thank a few people that were important uh, for, the, for th this afternoon's ceremony. Uh, Darren Olderking and the uh, Wind Orchestra, thank you so much. You do a wonderful job. <laughs> Our signer, Chrissy Haynes. Our vocalist, Daniel Sanch, and the drum group, uh, the Buffalo Boys. Also, university chaplain, Andre Lalich, and Daniel Rudelay, who's a con the convocation coordinator, uh, and all of our team who make this uh, convocation a, a great success. <laughs> I had a couple small points to add to the graduates and to the, uh, the guests assembled. Um, and also, head, table head platform guests, thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. I had a chance last uh, Friday to, uh, to go to Vancouver. My son graduated from uh, a BA degree, unfortunately from U UBC, not here. And, uh, but that's the first time I participated in a convocation as a parent. I've participated in a, at the head, at the, 
stage, and I've welcomed and congratulated many of our graduates. So it was a different experience for me, and I think one that I can actually uh, share profoundly with the parents today because I was uh, that uh, five seconds that your child walks across the stage is pretty precious, and uh, I really appreciate that now. So I'd like to, uh, for the graduates, uh, please join me uh, in thanking your parents and your grandparents and all the loved ones here that came to join you in supporting you today. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's tears of happiness and I'm sure there's uh, tears of joy that they don't have to send us any money and now we can ask you for money directly, graduates, so, so I'm sure they're happy about that. I wanted to make a couple more comments uh, very, very briefly, my friends. Uh, president Stoichev, uh, an eloquent man, he's, we're, great to, we're very grateful to have him as our president. But I think what he was trying to express to you in very, in very short, or, or short order and something that I've come to appreciate, it's grown on me in my, in my short time here as your chancellor, is that uh, this is a, uh, a tremendous institution, the University of Saskatchewan. I'm a very proud alumni, and I'm very proud of this place because um, it's, I think in boxing, I think there's a phrase that we, we fight above our weight class. We're not the biggest school, and we're not in the biggest province, and we don't have the biggest population, but oh my goodness, think about the accomplishments of the people that you've just experienced or you've heard about. And think about the work that's going on here. As you go out to be alumni in your professional careers, um, our researchers and our scientists will keep on working on the problems of humanity that, uh, that Dr. Raj talked about, the, Dr. Nag, I'm sorry, um, complex issues of global warming, uh, global food supply, water supply. These are issues that affect the survival of humanity in some parts of the world. And much of that research and much of the solutions will be generated from this institution here. The world will look to the University of Saskatchewan. So be proud of your degrees. I'm proud of mine. Uh, it's a great school. Um, we do a lot for, uh, for uh, who we are, but we're, uh, we're an exceptional school. I've had a chance to speak at other universities across the country and uh, just very, very clear that we're a very special place in this country and that this country is better for the University of Saskatchewan. I'd like to, thank you. I'd like to also say one other thing from my culture. Um, we sang you an honor song today, the, the uh, honor song for the graduates. And that is, if you ever hear the drums again in your lifetime, just think that today, on this day, uh, on May 30th in Saskatoon, this song was sung for you. It's a tribute to you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a song that's sung to, to recognize uh, a great accomplishment. And today is your day. And we'll always remember that song. But another point when we talk about our culture is that we have a really important value. It's probably our most important value and one that I'm proud of is we have this concept of wagutuin. Wagutuin, it's an easy word to say. But it means all my relatives or our relatedness. And that I think what Dr. Raj was trying to, Dr. Nag, sorry I keep calling you Raj, uh, was trying to speak to is, is really point, make very clearly that we're an interconnected global community and that what happens uh, in Asia affects us here. Uh, what happens here affects uh, the rest of the world and so as you go out into the world um, uh, with your relations from all across the world remember that you have a special connection with us that you actually are our family you are alumni and we have a saying amongst our people that the honor of one is the honor of all so when we see you succeeding our hearts are as are proud as your parents are today because you're one of our family now so go forth uh, conduct your life with dignity uh, be an asset to this province, this country, this comp what company, government, wherever you choose to work. Um, remember the people that are less fortunate um, because we're all in this together and that we all need each other. So thank you very much for uh, having patience to listen to me today. Uh, please let the head table or the platform guests leave the podium before you leave and uh, hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Take care. <laughs>